This is a quick video to show you how to highlight, underline, circle, and add in comments on Kami, as well as how to share your document when you're finished with it. Um, the first thing to do is to learn how to highlight. So in order to do that, you click this little pencil right here that says markup. And here you have a couple different options. I can do a text highlighter where I'm going to directly highlight a line. I can do a box highlighter where I can highlight a larger area. I can use a strike through if I wanted to cross something off for some reason. And then I also can use the underline tool. And so you just highlight it and then it automatically underlines it. Um, right now I'm using the color yellow, but I can change the color of that as well. Now it's red. Another thing that I can do is add in a comment. So to do that, I click right over here where it says comment. Um, I can select anywhere on the document. Right there, I just highlighted the word fossil. And here I can type my comment. Some other features, you can also add in a voice comment if you're more comfortable adding in uh, with a voice, as well as a video comment if you want to um, record yourself uh, making that comment for some reason. I can think of a couple different situations where we might want that to happen. Another great feature is being able to add in a text box. To do that, all you have to do is click on the, the T right there, and then it pops open a text box wherever you click, and then you can type whatever you need to. This is a great way to add in comments and thoughts onto the article that you're editing. Another tool right here is this drawing tool. Um, again, you can select whatever color that you would like to have, and this is just a tool that lets you maybe put circles around things, point to arrows or add in arrows, stuff like that. Uh, if you ever don't like it, just go ahead and grab that eraser. Another great tool right here is the uh, adding in the shapes tool. So I know one thing that I asked you to do was make circles. So you can use that to help uh, put circles around your words. The last thing that you need to learn how to do is share this document. So I have mine edited. Uh, hopefully yours looks a little bit neater than this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right up here uh, to these like three circles that are all connected where it says share document. There's a couple things I need to make sure are true. Um, we want this to be under my domain so that anyone at O'FarrellSchool.org is able to view this. Um, I don't need to have edit access and nobody else will. If that's ever the case, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, this stuff down here doesn't really matter. And then all you have to do is make sure that this link right up here is copied. It should be that way, but if it doesn't have that blue highlight, you might need to highlight it. Click copy. And then your last task for this is to add it into your, um, your Google slide for geologic time day one. So you'll go back to your slide and then right up here for the wrap up questions where it says insert your link here, go ahead and do, um, you'll just paste your link in. On a Mac, it's command V. On a PC or a Chromebook, it is Control V, is the shortcut to paste. And then your link is right there. And when I when you turn this in, I'll be able to look at it. And you'll also be able to reference this later on if you ever want to look at the notes that you made on that article. Hopefully that was helpful.